Hi there, my name is Pip and I'm a digital entrepreneur. I'm in my late 20s, I started when I was 25 in April 2018 and I really just want to share with you a few thoughts and ideas on why I really started an online business. So as I said, I started when I was 25 and the position that I was in was that I was a cleaner. I worked with the National Trust, which is a charity for conservation in England and Wales and I was really in a position where I thoroughly enjoyed my job but I wasn't finding the career progression in a linear sequence um, that was connected together that I wanted to find. There was training available but it didn't seem to be in any kind of, as I say, order or sequence that would lead in one particular direction. I was I also at a place in time where I was living with a sibling. I'd moved to Wales a couple of years prior and really at that time I'd moved away from my parents, something that I'd hoped I'd never do and I'd moved to a place which was away from family, away from connections and that type of support and since then we'd moved several times and eventually we'd come to uh, possess our own place through um, my father dying and the inheritance of that um, money which we were very lucky to have. However when my father died it did set me asking a few questions. You do learn a lot about somebody when they die and not all of it is good and certainly what my father left behind sent me on a quest to really do think about who he was, whether he lived his life and whether I was on that same path. And the thing I was finding at the time was that having moved several times and being in a different location geographically away from the family and friends that I once knew, I was very much on my own. I had support and connection throughout the day but as soon as home time came and I went back home my reason and my purpose dropped and I didn't really know what to do with myself. I didn't want to watch TV. Um, I didn't ever really found that fulfilling and I couldn't really find anything to get into that I found to be my passion or my purpose. I tried several clubs, I tried a singing, uh, sorry, a singing club with uh, Tenevis Cancer Care Choir, um, I tried several other things. I, I had the idea of maybe going back to a few hobbies and interests that I used to have but nothing really was connecting me or grounding me or making me feel like I had any roots and really I used to come home at night my brother would go and eat his food and then go upstairs and play on the computer and I would literally just sit and think about what can I be doing at this moment in time um, I also used to find because I worked only four days a week I was left for three days pretty much on my own and being on minimum wage I didn't really feel like I could afford to go out and spend it um, I lived very very frugally both in terms of what I ate, where I shopped, what I did I'm not a naturally shopping type of person anyway and really life was getting me by I was earning enough to cover the bills and having, but having said that really it wasn't going anywhere there was no um, a furtherment in my life, there was no progression, there was no sense of, of going forward and growing and um, feeling like my life had really any deep sense of purpose. Uh, I was just kind of getting up and doing the same thing again and again and whilst that was working for me, as I say in the daytime, it gave me a sense of purpose, a sense of belonging. When I looked at what I was doing, which was cleaning, it wasn't um, really contributing to life in the way that I thought could be contributed to. Um, I felt frustrated um, in the sense that I had work colleagues around me in a different department who I felt were doing more to contribute to life than I was and it wasn't because I didn't have the skills, it certainly wasn't because I didn't have the attitude or I wasn't half working, it was simply because of the position that life had led me to and that I had chosen um, because I didn't have full awareness of what else was available to me. So when my dad died as I say I did really look into my life and I made the decision a couple of months and a year as well, uh, a year and a couple of months after he passed away, um, having spent some time really, really thinking about who he was and 
trying to decipher a lot of the confusion that he'd left for not only myself but also my siblings and uh, my mother and I made a commitment one night I was sat um, in on the side of my bed it was December I think it was about the 8th of December and I remember just sitting there and I, I was just thinking and thinking and I sat there for about an hour and all of a sudden a thought came to me and I was like do you know what I'm not going to die like my dad, I'm not going to die from an unlived life because really my dad had many many gifts and talents but he never used them and in a way I feel like he never had the inner strength to use them because again because of the life path that had come about for him because of things that had happened and he never really took full control of the reins and I didn't want to end my life um, the way he had where I felt he'd ended it where he wasn't in a place where he was unfulfilled um, he wasn't really happy with his job he certainly wasn't earning the wage that he could have done and as I say my father had many many talents and really being um, very similar to my father in many respects I looked at that and I thought if that's the path I'm following I don't want to go there and I need to make a shift. So I'd come across personal development several years before I'd started a cleanies business uh, around my job as I say cause, because I only worked four days a week and that involved just basically giving out magazines, having somebody would order products and then collecting them back and there was a lot of back office work, uh, it was quite labour intensive um, but I had to come across personal development so one day in April 2018 I was on my computer I was listening to Earl Nightingale's Strangest Secret and I came across a video by um, a guy who you may have called of so you may have heard of called Ty Lopez um, he's a multi-millionaire, uh, American multi-millionaire came from pretty much nothing and I remember him saying that in order for you to change things you need to change the people around you because we could become the average of the five people we're closest around and I really knew in that moment that I needed to change the people who were in my life and more the people who were in my head only at that time I didn't see them anymore um, but they were still what I considered to be my closest relationships and then watching another video I came across uh, an advert and sorry, an advertisement by a doctor. Um, I've never clicked on YouTube before, as before. I don't really um, watch them, if I'm honest with you. But he was talking about how I could um, create a life where not really, not only could I create more money, which was something I was looking at the time, um, but I'm more emotionally minded than financially minded. And the thing that really got me was he was talking about how I could have basically more fulfillment in life and that's what I really didn't have at the time. My life was just a merry-go-round of shopping and washing and going to work and having spare time but not knowing what to do with it, not feeling like I could afford to do anything with it, um, not knowing what I wanted to do with it in any case, um, in some points feeling frustrated and just like things weren't worth bothering with because I didn't have any local support. Um, and really that's what I wanted in that moment. I didn't have a lot of confidence. I wasn't very confident as a child anyway um, and the past few years had really kind of knocked the confidence out of me and made me not want to socialise, not want to have relationships with, with people because particularly of things that happened uh, that, that my father left me and uh, relationships with other people that had broken down and of course moving a lot where you have to you know get to know somebody and then and then you lose that connection and then you have to start all over again and then it happens again and after a while you you just don't bother so really that's why I started I wanted to I knew I had more within me um, and I didn't know how to find that and as I say the frustration and that the fear almost of knowing where my current life path would end up because I had to watch my father get to the end of his life path um, and he got there before retirement he basically smoked himself to death um, over a course of 40 years um, really I didn't I didn't want to be that way um, I 
I just didn't believe that that's all that life could offer me. The other thing that um, encouraged me, I suppose, to start was, I'd say I was living with a sibling at the time and he earns a great deal more than I do and really I had the awareness that um, should we decide to go our separate ways, my wage would not stand me in good stead. Um, I was earning about £12,500 gross, um, about 11500 net and what that meant was that if I needed a mortgage, if I wanted to go my own way and have a home and a roof over my head where I was actually getting something back for retirement, uh, getting something back in the long run where you know I wasn't just spending it on rent but didn't have anything to call my own at the end of the day, I couldn't afford to do that, you know. And it's obviously a lot more expensive to have rent than a mortgage. Um, and again, there was a financial factor in there for me that was like, oh my gosh, I can't afford rent on my own. Um, you know, I'm just going to have to work super hard in a job that isn't really going anywhere just to pay the rent for a home that I'm not, that's not going to be really fulfilling for me and which I'm not going to spend a lot of time in because I'm going to be always at work. And my life is never going to get out of that cycle, you know, I'm never going to be able to afford better or even hope for better or, or, or create better and I think that was the thing that really got me. I couldn't create anything better because I literally didn't know how. I was stuck in the cycle and I didn't know how to so escape. So really that's my story and I hope that's inspired you. Um, the thing that I really realised at the end of the day was that although I did like my job, I, I had a present but I didn't have a future and looking ahead at the future and what I wanted to create, not only for myself, but also as well for my little brother and uh, my mum um, and the things that she might have wanted to do, you know, she might have wanted to have downsized. Um, you know, my younger brother was coming towards the end of university in a couple of years, he would need a car and a place of his own. Um, and I wanted to help him do that, I didn't want to be almost an absent family member that I feel in later life my dad was for me. Um, because at the end of the day I've learned that blood is thicker than water and I said lost a lot of friends and really I didn't want to be that absent person, I didn't want to be, I wanted to be an asset rather than a liability to my family um, and that's what life meant to me. So I hope, as I say, that has been helpful for you. Um, if you want to see the exact same videos that I watched that, that really have changed my life um, in so many ways, ways that I don't even probably recognise in myself. Um, you know, you can always visit my website, it is pitweekly.com, I'll just put that in the comments. Um, and really I just think that, you know, there are just, th th there's people out there who are just feeling in the exact same way as me, just looking around but not, seeking but not finding. Um, and I really think that that, you know, we are not living in the 1990s, it's, you know, it's like there's something like four billion people online and yet, you know, it's not like it's something like one tenth of one hundred that are making an income from it and it's like, well, why do we continue to trade our time for money when technology has given us so many things, um, you know, as you're watching this recording, I'm probably somewhere else doing something else you know, and YouTube is free, anyone can have a channel, Facebook is free, anyone can have a, a Facebook page, Twitter is free, all these things are free and yes business is an investment, you do have to invest in certain things but I would say for me personally what it's gained for me in terms of emotional growth and just not feeling frustrated and just not feeling like I don't have anything to give and just feeling just kind of just like my life just doesn't mean anything and not feeling strongly in myself it has changed that and I would encourage anyone who feels the same way to really just go on the website enter your email address the videos are completely free it's by our uh, our top founder uh, and our top mentor as well whose name is Stuart um, he basically created this education platform that I'm now part of where people are really changing their lives, people with kids, people without kids, people who are young, people who are old, people from all sorts of countries and all sorts of backgrounds who are genuinely waking up to the fact that actually this isn't the 1990s anymore and we don't have to keep trading our time and choosing lives for ourselves which is not fulfilling. Um, 
as I say, I had the blessing of watching my dad go through that and him passing away before retirement and realising that that actually was the sum total of my life did open my eyes and I'm very blessed in that and I really just want to pass that message on to you today. So I hope that's been helpful for you. As always, um, if you do have any insights during this video that you, you want to share, do put them in the comments. More people read the comments than you would think and I think that we need to show each other that we're not alone in this. Um, so, do, so do put that down, it's going to be helpful for somebody even if you don't think it's out of any worth. Um, and as I say, my, the videos are always there totally free, pitweekly.com. If you don't like them, that's fine. Um, but I do want to just bring that bit of value for you today. So that's all from me and I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye now.